Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different and that's the subject of Kratom. Uh, it's a plant that's actually gotten really popular here in the U.S. as of recently. Um, it's, it's available in a lot of places. I found it in gas stations here, I found it at head shops, I found it at uh, specialty herb stores. I've used it in the past. Uh, it's a great, it's a great tool. It'll actually keep, uh, it will keep people who are addicted to opiates from getting sick, and it's all natural. Um, the effects at at low doses have like a euphoric and stimulating effect, and at high doses, it tends to have an like exactly like opiate effect. Um, it's a, it's usually grounded up as a powder. Um, they sell it in capsules or they sell it as just the bulk powder the stuff is putrid uh by the way uh the taste is disgusting if you aren't used to it so if it's your if you're new to it um definitely try the capsules at first um eventually you might get to the point where you can get that shit down but it's really 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 putrid um but it will definitely make you feel better if you're struggling um I think it could do a lot of good for people who are like in between. Uh, they're trying to decide whether methadone or suboxone. You know, they're getting sick, but they're not at the point where they probably need something that extreme. But they're still not feeling good if they don't have opiates. Definitely give Kratom a try if you're in that bracket of people. Um, it, it, it can do a lot of it can it can do a lot of good. Um, I think it can be. Uh, it can be a great tool for people to get off suboxone and methadone or just to get off opiates in general. Uh, its effects aren't overwhelming, you know what I mean? But it will keep you from getting sick. Um, and nobody really knows why. It's the weird thing about it. It's uh, This plant has been used for thousands of years in Asia. Um, I think it was Thailand just legalized it recently uh, fully. But like I said, it can do a lot of good. It's all natural. Um, just make sure you get it from a reputable source. I know they do sell it in gas stations and stuff, but I mean, who knows if that brand that you're getting at the gas station is reputable, if there's pesticides or stuff like that in it. Um, you also do your own research, too. There's a, there's a, they call them veins. They have different colored veins of kratom. And that's basically a strain. Uh, the vein means it what strain it is. And from my understanding, the red is the most opiate-like of the of the strains. Uh, but it's different for everybody. In my case, the the red definitely felt more like uh, more like an opiate type of uh, effect. But anyway, uh, I think this stuff could do a lot of good. Um, and if you're struggling or or not feeling good and you have no, no other options, definitely try to uh, give Kratom a try, man. Do your own research about the dose, too. Uh, I wouldn't take, you know, a bunch of it right at, for your first time because you might get sick. Uh, honestly, you probably will get sick if you take a bunch of it your first time. The stuff is absolutely putrid, but it does, like I said, keep you from getting sick. So anyways, uh, that's all I got for today, but uh, Josh, over and out.